Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we will learn how to copy a record from a data extension to another data extension with uh, Automation Studio and SQL. So as you can see here, I have a data extension that contains a few fields, including a uh, car. So I just pretend that I'm a, a car dealer. And basically I've added two records uh, with, inf with information related to my first name, my last name, uh, and other. And I want to copy these two records that are in, in input DE to the data extension output DE. So what I will do is I will go into Automation Studio. And within Automation Studio, I will create a new automation. This new automation will uh, contain um, will contain uh, sorry an SQL query, and we will uh, refresh this extension on an hourly basis. So it will run early every one hour, and we don't want to stop that. Uh, now I will create an SQL query. So I will create a new query. The name will be DE to DE. And I will tack, copy that here and here. Okay. I click on next and now I can write my, my query. So this is the interesting part. I will say select. And here I will basically come to take my input, DE, and I will say first name, last name, email, subscriber kicker. So first name. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, okay, perfect. First name, last name. Uh, email subscriber key uh, and car. Okay. And I will say that is from uh, from input DE to DE. And now I will say that I want to put it in my target data extension. So what I do is I add like the keyword as, and basically what I will do is I will go into output data extension. So like the target data extension, and I will check that the field are the same and there. So I can copy and paste that. Uh, tag email subscriber key as subscriber key car as car. And I can even add a condition. And I could say where first name, first, first name, uh, equal, uh, first name, like, and here I could say, um, Arthur. So basically if I run this query, oh, Okay, so the issue was that. Um, now what I will do is I will add back uh, where first name uh, like author. And basically, I should copy only square oh. uh, 
Okay. And uh, only the first name Arthur should be added to the query. So I go in next. And now I will go in my folder and I will select output DE to DE and I will do an append. So I add new data on top of my data extension and I click finish. Okay, I save and I will call that DE to DE. And I will save the data uh, like the automation. And now what I want to check is if it's working correctly or not. So I will click here. I will click on run. And now I can check in the activity um, if it's running correctly. And if it's running correctly, yeah, I got the green button. And now if, as you can see, I have two records here. I have Arthur and Daniel. If I go back to my folder and I click output DE, I should have only one record. And here it's Arthur. So that's how to, to copy past, um, basically record from one data extension to another data extension. And you can also add some criteria with, for example, the where condition that will um, act as a filter. So thank you for watching this video. And if you have any question, please let me know. Thank you.